Hey friends, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some easy and affordable decorating ideas for spring. Spring is my absolute favorite season. I just adore it. I look forward to it every single year. There's just something about walking outside and the snow is starting to melt, a little tiny buds starting to bloom, the birds are chirping. There's just so much hope for brighter days ahead and I always look forward to this time of year. Before I share some of my tips and decorating ideas, the first thing I want to mention when it comes to spring decorating is that less is often more. Now I know that can be the case all the time but especially in the spring months when everything feels really fresh you don't need an excuse to have bare surfaces in your home and you really want to let the house breathe I know in the winter we can have lots of ribbon and ornaments and bows and all of the things and by this time in the year it feels good to have sort of a blank slate. So I recommend before you decorate any space, take everything off the shelves, take everything off the countertops or off your buffet table or whatever space it might be and only put items back that you truly love, that you really wanna see for the upcoming season. And that way you can really enjoy a fresh new look for spring. So before we go any farther, I would kindly like to thank Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. If you don't know who Thrive is, they are an online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. You can find tons of organic foods and natural products at the best price because if you find a better price somewhere else, Thrive Market will match it. They have everything from organic groceries to snacks to eco-friendly cleaning products, personal care items, wine even, uh, supplements, you name it, they have it. You can find it all in one place. Another really cool thing about Thrive is that you can filter the products to meet your diet and lifestyle preferences. So if you're keto or vegan or gluten free, you can be sure to see only those products that fit your lifestyle. So they have a couple of different membership options. You can choose a monthly membership for $9.95 a month, or you can do an annual membership for $59.95 for the year, which equates to $5 a month. So I like to get a little bit of everything when I'm shopping from Thrive, but these are some of my favorites. I love Thrive's organic pastas and pasta sauce. This is a great, easy weeknight meal. Um, their organic salsas are delicious. I've got some cauliflower rice. These sriracha cashews are addicting. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. They're so good. My kids love the organic veggie sticks. They make a great after school snack. I've got some pizza crust here, tortilla chips, um, more <laughs> chips. And of course we can't forget Maggie. I have some jerky bites for her and she loves these. I've already opened them up. So definitely check out that link down in my description below for 40% off of your first Thrive Market order as well as a free gift valuing $50. And thanks again Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. So the first thing that I wanna mention when I think about spring and spring decor is greenery. Lots and lots of greenery. I prefer real, but that's not always easy to get this time of year. Not everything is blooming yet. Uh, maybe you're lucky and a few things have started to bloom by you in your own yard, or maybe you have a relative or a friend that would let you come over and trim some clippings for a vase in your own home. But if you don't have access to real greens, that's okay. There is always faux. I'm definitely a huge fan of faux greenery and faux flowers. I think they are a really good investment in your home because you can use them again and again and they always look beautiful. So when it comes to floral stems you really want to find good quality stems that look real. Uh, Hobby Lobby Michaels 
Uh, some of your craft stores are great places to buy florals. A Floral, which is a website, is another great one. They are an investment. You can use them again and again, year after year. I have been collecting this specific stem, I think, for three years now. These are hydrangeas, and they are so beautiful and lifelike. The stems themselves look so realistic. There's little buds on them. Um, the leaves start larger at the bottom and as they work their way up they're smaller. Um, there are flowers at different blooming stages. Some are fully bloomed, some are partially bloomed, and they're just beautiful. And if you really want to give that illusion that your faux stems are real, like you just went outside and cut them from the yard and brought them in, I recommend using the same flowers throughout your entire main living during the spring and summer months. I have found that just gives that cozy cottage feel, having them in baskets and uh, different vessels and crocks and pitchers. You can see I have those same stems I just showed you behind me here. I have them down all throughout my main living right now um, and it just it does it gives the illusion of fresh cut flowers versus having a bunch of different flowers everywhere uh, that look faux so definitely recommend that as a tip it just it's really really pretty so the next easy decorating idea for spring that I have for you is to go to your local garden center or even your local grocery store if garden centers don't have any out yet and buy some fresh herbs to pot in your kitchen it could be a as simple as one pot of spearmint or uh, rosemary or whatever you actually want to use in cooking or you'll find that you'll use. I like to keep fresh mint on hand. It's great in drinks and it's also pretty hard to kill. It likes partial sun so it's easy to keep in the kitchen I found. Um, but there's lots of ways that you can display them. You can put them in whatever pretty um, pot that you would like or container. I have mine hanging on either side side of my kitchen window. Uh, I had my husband drill some holes in the side of my terracotta pots and that way I could hang them on heavy duty command hooks and they look so pretty hanging in the kitchen. They just add so much life and a pop of color to the space and again it's a really easy affordable way uh, that you can bring a touch of spring to your home. So moving right along, not only do I love greenery and floral stems and plants, but I like to change my linens and some of my pillow covers when it comes to springtime. In the winter months, I'm really drawn to knits and cozy textures, and by the time March rolls around, I'm ready to take all of that out and add pops of fresh color. I like to use light colors, uh, neutrals, sometimes blues, but really what I'm most drawn to are stripes. You can't go wrong with a simple quaint stripe pillow. It is one of my favorite things. I probably have way too many, <laughs> but it just looks so pretty popped against your chair or your couch on my front porch swing, really anywhere. So on my bed here, in the winter months, I use sort of my heavy duty duvet cover, but uh, once spring rolls around, I like to make it feel a little bit lighter and a little more airy. So I swapped out to that duvet for this simple striped <laughs> quilt from Target. Um, I think it was on clearance actually and it's just a white and blue stripe but it's really really pretty for spring. And with any of my decor I really want it to feel lived in. In the winter months I had some ice skates displayed uh, by the front door. In the fall maybe it's a scarf or something like that. Um, but in the springtime I like to swap out anything that I have hanging on hooks or sitting by the door for some spring-like items like sun hats, jean jackets, maybe a linen scarf, or maybe a sweet little umbrella just sitting by the door. Just items that make you think of spring. This is a really affordable way to decorate and giving that lived-in feel is really cozy. The last easy and affordable decorating idea I have for you this spring is to look on Etsy and find a spring landscape that you love that you can download. Uh, usually between two and three dollars. It's really inexpensive. I found one that I love. Uh, 
some lilac bushes that are just beautiful. I love lilacs in the springtime. I have a lilac tree in my backyard and it just screams spring to me. So I did a lilac landscape, but I saw all different kinds when I searched on Etsy and you can download them, have them printed at um, Staples or Office Depot or somewhere or a local print shop, or you can even have it done online and shipped to your house. Um, but I bought this printable on Etsy for I think $3 and then I had it printed at Staples for 80 cents. So for under $4, I had the print in hand and then you just need a frame and you can find frames at Goodwill or thrift stores. You can take out sort of the old ugly art and replace it with your uh, new prints or you can always run to Hobby Lobby. Sometimes their frames are on sale and get matting or get whatever frame you like, but really, really inexpensive expensive and a really pretty way to display some spring decor. All right, friends, so I hope that you enjoyed these spring decorating ideas and that it gave you some ideas and encouragement for your own home. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with a friend or a loved one. That always helps me out. And let me know down in the comments below what is some of your favorite ways to decorate for spring? What are some of your tips and ideas? I always love gleaming from you guys. And I know I don't always respond to every single comment. Uh, but I always read them and I try to heart them as best as I can just now I read them and I so appreciate them and I know the other viewers like reading them too so be sure to do that down in the comments below and I'll see you guys really soon in my next video bye